Happy New Year! So, we were invited by our friends down at Kin Community to make a New Year New You video. That's right, 30 other YouTubers in the home decor and cooking category are actually making their own New Year New You video for 30 days straight. That's a lot of videos. It is. We know about a lot of videos. And today is our day. Cars, cars, cars. Planes. It's oh, no, that was a car. You can find all of these videos on the New Year New You playlist on Kin Community's channel. That's right. And do you guys want to know what our video is about? We are going to show you guys how to make the most amazing jewelry organizer out of sticks. It's time to clean up your life and organize that closet. Well, here's what you're going to need. Five T-hinges, we're using white. About 40 hooks, again using white. A box of at least 40, number eight, three-fourths inch screws. Two butterfly cleats and four drywall anchors. Then you're gonna need a drill, a center punch, a drill bit the same size as your drywall cleat, a couple sizes of Phillips bits, two more drill bits that match the size of the screws you're using, then of course you're gonna need some sticks. The main stick we're hanging everything from is three feet long and about an inch and a half around. And then we have five more sticks varying between 16 inches and 24 inches. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need to do is add the butterfly cleat to our vertical stick so that we can mount it on the wall. Use the center punch or pencil to mark the holes. Pre-drill the holes and then screw in the cleat. Make sure that you're mounting them at the lowest touch point on the stick. It's a good idea to space them out with a nice round number so that later when you're going to hang it on the wall, it's easy to measure. Grayson is spacing these out exactly 26 inches from the top of the hardware to the top of the lower hardware. Do the same thing for the lower cleat. I lined up the sticks where I like them and then placed the T-hinge right where I wanted to mount it. Then I took my center punch and I marked the holes in that hinge, then pre-drilled the holes and screwed it in. Then line up your horizontal branch under the hinge and again, mark the holes with the center punch, pre-drill, screw, and repeat this for the rest of the branches. Now that the hinges are on, I can add these cute little white hooks. I'm going to pre-drill six holes in my bottom branch and then add six hooks. Then, on the branch up from that, I'm going to stagger the hooks. Do the same thing for the rest of the branches. I only use 28 hooks, but I can always add more later if I feel that it needs it. Now, let's go hang it. Since we're drilling into drywall, we need to use drywall anchors to fasten the cleat to the wall. Just line up your cleat on the mark, making sure that the teeth are facing up. Then mark where your holes need to be with a pencil, drill the holes for your drywall anchors, hammer them in, and screw the butterfly cleat into those holes. Do the same thing for the lower cleat, making sure that it's 26 inches apart, from top to top or bottom to bottom. Now just hold up your rack, line up the cleats, and pull down to lock it in. Now the fun part. Add your necklaces on however you'd like. You can color coordinate them, you can hang the shorter ones on the top, the longer ones on the bottom. I even added a few rings to the side of mine. This should be a really awesome organizational aid for you guys, and I'm really excited for you guys all to try it. So, what do you guys think? Was that amazing or what? I think it was amazing. And leave a comment below if you guys have any other ideas of what you could hang on there or what you could use it for. Also, we are kind of over our background, and we are actually going to be giving our own studio a New Year look. So come back next week because we're going to have an updated, fresh, super cool space. Yeah. And if you have any ideas for us of what we can put behind us, tell us below. We're always interested. Do that.